Hi, I'm Linda with Tax TV, here to offer some basic guidelines concerning tax deductions for first-time home buyers. The first-time home buyer credit that expired September 30th, 2010, was extended until April 30th, 2011, but only for qualified members of the U.S. military. These service members must have purchased a primary residence prior to May 1st, 2011, to be able to take advantage of the first-time home buyer credit. Primary residence is defined as the place where an individual lives most of the time. It can be a house, condo, houseboat, cooperative apartment, or mobile home. A first-time home buyer is defined as someone who has not owned a primary residence in the three-year period ending on the date of purchasing the home. Married couples are considered first-time buyers if neither spouse has owned a residence in the previous three years. The maximum credit for a first-time home buyer is $8,000. However, if you are married and filing a separate return, the credit is half that amount, $4,000. The tax credit reduces your income tax liability for the year of the purchase, and any unused amount of tax credit will be refunded to you. If you claim the first-time home buyer's credit, you may not file your tax return electronically. You must file a paper return and attach Form 5405, First-Time Home Buyer Credit and Repayment of the Credit. You have to verify your home purchase with additional documents, such as a properly executed settlement statement or a copy of the dated certificate of occupancy. If you purchase a mobile home and a settlement statement isn't available, then you must attach a copy of the sales contract to your tax return filed on paper. More information about the first-time home buyer's credit is housed at TaxTV.com.